Creative Fans. Um, kind of going along with the series that I've been doing here of different magnetization. Here is a Rhino to Razorback and vice versa combo. So here's of course our base, uh, base Rhino. Now I didn't have the plate here. I need to get an, I need to get another plate. But this is some of that uh, thin middle plating that I've talked about that we you can use to magnetize stuff too. Um, so there needs to be one for this capella here, this hole, so that you can magnetize your uh, storm bolter in, or uh, you know if if you're running a razor back and don't want to pay for the upgrade. Sorry, here's the the one that doesn't have doesn't have the capella or doesn't have the gun, obviously. Um, but anyway, uh, here's how you would magnetize a storm uh, magnetize that. You'd put a plate put a plate here. Put your magnets on the bottom of this of, of your bottom of your two different capella options. Uh, this other little flat guy here, I put a magnet in the middle, then magnetize my uh, little hunter killer missile. So that's an option there. The big one here is uh, combination Razorback or uh, Rhino. So you just a couple of big flat magnets there with your plate on the back, and it just really magnetizes in this plate real, real or this uh, top mount real easy so you can have that that's the that's the big one obviously um, and then when you have the razor back then you want to be able to do either and I just like to this guy I like to set I just like to have him set set in there it makes it really easy for gameplay if you want to take it off if your weapon's been destroyed it means that you can turn it for better measurement when you need to measure at the length of the gun how far the range is um, and then this is another thing that I do where it's just set in there. What I do is I cut off, when you're building this mount, I cut off and smooth out the uh, knobs there, the nubs. So rather than it being um, connected there, it's just connected using, using the actual, this, this, this combination of pieces that go together. Um, and then you magnetize, it really easily magnetize the... So that guy goes in there just like that. Put him on there. Ta-da! No big deal. And then you just magnetize the top plate. So, so he sits on there. There's the top plate magnetized, or you know, with this magnet right there in the center. Um, or but you know, here we go on on the ugh, I'm dropping it on the razor back. You, because of the fact that I have I'm using most I'm using a tablet most of the time, and I may have talked about this on some other podcast or some other uh, video that I've done. Like I'm holding the tablet with one hand and trying to do everything with the other hand by looking through the tablet also, looking through the screen and seeing what you guys are going to see. Because I obviously don't want to do it where, oh, I'm looking over it and then I'm moving the, the video around, which I'm trying to demonstrate without actually giving you seasickness, motion sickness there. But if I don't, it, sometimes it's hard with my own depth perception because I'm looking through the video screen to tell what I'm doing. So if I look like I'm clumsy, that's why. So anyway, um... Long, long explanation short, the point is is that uh, you can mag you magnetize this top mount here, so it can go either heavy bolter or last can, which is what comes the options that come in the kit. So out of the razor now only razor back kit because you can't buy rhinos um, separately anyway. That would be how you would magnetize for a razor back or a rhino. Um, so I hope that was inspirational and great. Um, thanks for watching.